definitely what one could consider one of the uh, practice changing, potentially practice changing studies out of the ESC meeting here in Barcelona. And it's the Paradigm Heart Failure Study, or Paradigm HF, the largest HF study ever conducted, recently stopped early due to uh, compelling efficacy, and it's looking at a new agent. And that's what we're here with Dr. Scott David Solomon to talk about. He's the director of the non-invasive cardiology uh, at Brigham and Women's Hospital and a professor at Harvard Medical School. Okay, first off, let's talk about the drug itself, which is uh, right now LCZ-696. What is it? Yeah, we wish I, it had a name uh, yeah, <laughs> make it easier for you. So LCZ is a novel uh, dual-acting compound that contains two, it consists of two molecular parts, the angiotensin receptor blocker valsartan and a neprilysin inhibitor. Uh, neprilysin is the enzyme that is responsible for the breakdown of the biologically active natriuretic peptides. So this dual acting compound both blocks the angiotensin type 1 receptor and does all the things that we are familiar with with respect to uh, angiotensin receptor blockers, uh, but also by blocking neprilysin, by inhibiting neprilysin, you're augmenting the naturally occurring uh, endogenous natriuretic peptides, including ANP, BNP, CNP, and a number of other vasoactive substances like adrenomedulin, substance P, and so forth. And this is uh, creating a new way uh, to uh, affect the hormonal systems in uh, heart failure. So describe the patient population you were looking at and uh, some of the data. Yeah, so we uh, enrolled 8,400, over 8,400 patients with predominantly class two and three uh, heart failure. Uh, we uh, ran uh, and randomized them to either LCZ696 or enalapril 10 milligrams BID. Very important to realize that this was not a trial against placebo. It was a trial against an active comparator, enalapril. And in fact, we ensured that patients were on uh, what we consider the gold standard bedrock of uh, heart failure therapy, which is uh, an evidence-based proven dose of enalapril. Uh, we studied patients for an average of 27 months. As you know, the trial was stopped early by the DSMB for overwhelming efficacy. Uh, at the end of the trial, uh, the average daily dose that patients were on of enalapril, the comparator, was over 18 milligrams, and of LCZ was 375 uh, milligrams. And we found uh, a 20% very significantly uh, significant reduction in the primary endpoint, which was a composite of cardiovascular death and heart failure hospitalization, a 20% extremely significant reduction in cardiovascular death, and a 16% significant reduction in all-cause mortality. I mean, those are striking findings from a, a trial of a new agent. Striking uh, because it's a new agent, but also because we went head-to-head -head with right. an active comparator, and there are essentially no uh, prior trials in heart failure going head to head with a gold standard therapy that has uh, shown this kind of efficacy. Now these were people with reduced ejection fractions. These are people with reduced, reduced ejection fractions. The, uh, you had to have an EF under 40% to get in and the mean EF was about 29% in these patients. So where from here? Well, uh, we're extremely excited obviously about these results. Uh, the trial was really designed uh, so that if successful, we would consider uh, replacing the current standard of care ACE inhibitors and by uh, extension ARBs with um, LCZ-696. Uh, and we believe that uh, given not only the efficacy but also the side effect profile, which was yeah, for the most were, part uh, better, uh, we saw less renal dysfunction, we saw less hypokalemia, hyperkalemia, we saw less cough. We had a little more hypotension, but no more hypotension resulting in discontinuations. Overall, fewer people discontinued the therapy if they were on LCZ than if they were on uh, enalapril. Now, when we posted the paradigm data on uh, CardioSource, I did note one of the, the readers of CardioSource had written, you know, why didn't they compare a combination therapy for optimal therapy with the new agent plus a, a standard drug, that really wouldn't have worked because of the, the special kind of 
two hits that you get with this, this new drug, correct? Absolutely, uh, and very important point. You cannot give this drug together with an ACE inhibitor because it increases dramatically the risk of angioedema uh, because of, uh, you're inhibiting multiple enzymes uh, that are involved in the bradykinin pathway. Uh, this is actually the reason why a prior neprilysin inhibitor, omipatrolet, which uh, you may remember, uh, which combined a neprilysin inhibitor with an ACE inhibitor, this was not successful. There was a lot more serious angioedema and, quite frankly, it wasn't as effective uh, in, in treating patients with heart failure. When might we get more uh, study information? Well, uh, obviously the paper has been published in the New England Journal of Medicine. Um, we have uh, several secondary publications that are almost complete and will probably be uh, published fairly soon. We'll be presenting more data at the American Heart Association uh, on Paradigm. I think you're going to see a lot of information out of Paradigm. We had a very robust uh, ancillary study program with uh, uh, biomarkers that, we'll, uh, that we've measured and that we'll be reporting at some point. Uh, as well, we're going to uh, show data on uh, the causes of death, we're going to show data on the effects on the kidney, so I think we're going to see an awful lot of paradigm information. Yeah, I think we are too, and I, yeah. here at Barcelona, this is without a doubt one of the hot topics, so please check out CardioSource, you can uh, look at the slides, and of course the paper is in the New England we're also, Journal I, of Medicine. We're also, I just want to add, if it's okay, we're oh, starting yeah. a new trial with LCZ-696. We just began. It's in heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. Very this good. This is called Paragon HF, and it will be the largest heart failure uh, with preserved ejection fraction study yet done. Yeah, that's why I wanted to make sure we got into the fact that these were reduced ejection fractions, so you are yes. working on the, the Absolutely. preserved. That's cool. More from uh, Barcelona very soon for Cardiosource World News. I'm Executive Editor Rick McGuire.